Hello, welcome to my channel. There's something I want to show you about a uh, yam. I'm telling the part. You can see this yam. This one is the third time I'm showing it. Immediately you see this thing. This flower of this yam. You know that it, it have already started uh, producing this particular flower. And this flower. It started producing yam. Eh? You see it here. Uh -huh. Then let me show you that. We just come down of this place. This is the this is the vine of the yam as it goes up. See how these things open this ground. This thing normally be done, but you already cracked the ground. See how it opened the ground, crack this ground. By next week, it's going to scatter. Here it's going to scatter, reach to this level, to the other level, to the other level. Like I believe that this one is about two to three big yams inside. It produces plus other seed yams. They are inside. Once you see that a uh, flower, you know that it started producing now. Then this month is about uh, let me call it uh, four months now. You can see this is uh, the way it scattered this ground by additional one month making uh, the fifth uh, month by that time you're going to be ready for harvest and you are going to see how here we open the only thing you have to do is that to use sand to cover it but the yam is not showing that's why there's nothing i can do to cover it let me leave it like this Then let me show you. And this is the next one. The way is is opening. This is the vine, straight to this level. You have seen it. Hmm? And this is the flower. This is the flower of it. Then see the way it opened the ground. See it here, and it here all, all to this side. Then let me show you the next one. You have seen the next one. The way it's open. This one is a very good variety. You see the way you open the ground. Anyhow you put the yam, it must surely open the ground. Whenever you see the flower, it starts producing. Before this flower will dry up and fall. When the flower will dry up and fall, and there will be no any flower on top. You know that the yam is ready, eh? but not fully ready. You can harvest it by cutting some of it and leave it to produce a multiple seed yam, or you may leave it to fully matured. See the, the way it's easier. And if you go down here to the extreme, it's uh, the same. Together with the other side, well, yeah, the way it's cut out ground. And I'm telling the fact, and if you are planting yam, you must make sure you get the good variety. See, see the seed here, the flower. Have you seen the flower? Yes. What makes it to be like this is because of, I use a, a inorganic fertilizer, then fertilizer. The fertilizer already uh, fed away, and inorganic, inorganic fertilizer is doing its work. That's why it's breaking the ground like this. This one you're seeing is the work of inorganic fertilizer. Then I drop a poultry manure here by each of the rich junction. It's not, I'm not talking about the one that I heap here by each of the heap. Then I kept by the, each of the junction. And after everything, the water push it to down. That's why the root just take a, it now. That's why it's like big of this thing. When I'm harvesting it, I'm going to show it to you to see how big it is. This yam may be like a human size. When I'm talking, you, you may laugh at me. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this channel. Please uh, like uh, and uh, subscribe. Thank you.